y'all, it's Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl, and I like to focus on all things vinyl, sublimation, and screen printing. And if that sounds good to you, why don't you stay a while and think about joining the Cutting Corners family? So today I am focused on the Tea Padded, which Heat Press Nation sent over to me for review. Now, this is a product that is intended to use with your heat press to use with those odd shaped objects such as shirts that have buttons on sleeves onesies those types of things so we're going to put it to the test now Today I'm talking about the tea padded system from Heat Press Nation. This is a five piece set for $24.95. The different sizes include a 3.75 inch by 3.75 inch, a 5 inch by 5 inch, a 15.5 inch by 13 inch, a 4 inch by 17 inch, and an 8 inch by 10.5 inch. Now I think that this is pretty ingenious. This is like a Teflon pillow set, but it doesn't get squished down. Now if you are someone that has used a Teflon pillow set, you know that over time the more you press it, the more it gets squished. And this doesn't do this. I have been using this over the past couple of weeks. If you've watched videos, you will have known that I have used this. This works with sublimation and HTV. It works well with buttons, zippers, any type of seaming. It will also work with like canvases, anything that you need a firm amount of pressure to work well with anything that gets heat applied graphics, this will work with. I have thoroughly enjoyed this. Now for full transparency, Heat Press Nation sent this to me for review. I am a Heat Press Nation affiliate. I have them linked in the description box. If you order off of that link, I earn a small commission. So, just to let you know, but all the thoughts and opinion in this are my own. All of the vinyl I am using in this video are specialty materials Thermoflex Plus Black or specialty materials Glitterflex Ultra Rainbow Opaque white. The press that I am using right now is a Heat Press Nation Craft Pro 15 by 15 pink that has the pull out drawer. I love this thing. Absolutely love it. The sweatshirt that I'm using right now is the Amazon Basics. That's a coral. I love it. I chose that when I ordered it off of Amazon because of the seaming it has because I wanted something that had a little bit thicker seams because I really wanted to show you. I didn't do any sublimation in this video, but I have used it with sublimation because I wanted to save time. This is a polar fleece quarter zip pullover that came from Target. It isn't linked um, because I wanted to kind of keep things a little bit less. All of the artwork is on my Patreon page. You can use whatever artwork you want to. The t-shirt guide is from Sherry of All Trades. I don't have an affiliate link just to let you know. Um, anyways, I have been really impressed with this because I love the firmness behind it. As I said, it's kind of like a giant mouse pad, but they work really, really well. It is a very unique concept. And for me, who has been in the business doing this for a very long time, for me to find something unique like this, that says something. Now, one of the things you'll notice that I am doing is I'm taking the largest size and then the sleeve one to get rid of the seam box around it. This is something you can do because a lot of people don't realize that you can. I am placing that under because I've made sure I've had enough pressure to help get rid of the box. You see how that got rid of the bulk of the box? And now when I go wash it, it'll be completely gone. I know that sublimation and heat transfer vinyl can be intimidating. And this kind of helps with the intimidation factor. And one of the biggest questions I get 
all of the time is why is my heat transfer vinyl coming off? What am I doing wrong? And 99% of the time, I can almost guarantee that if you're using a heat press, it has nothing to do with heat. It has nothing to do with time. It has to do with pressure. And what I mean by pressure a lot of times, it has to do with stuff like this with seams. Because if you're not getting a firm amount of pressure, even across the board, it's not going to apply correctly. So like with a baby onesie, you notice how the neck or like a polo where there's buttons and seams. If you don't have something to raise that up where the area where that vinyl or that sublimation design is going, where it is meeting where that top platen, which is where that heat radiates from, is touching where that vinyl is because those buttons or those seams are touching instead, your vinyl isn't going to stay on. It's going to wash right off. Does that make sense? So you need to make sure that you've got something that raises that vinyl or that sublimation design. If not, it's not going to be even. So if you've applied sublimation and it's nice and bright in one area and it's not in another, like on a hoodie, that's what's happening. So hopefully you've gotten some good information from this video. If you have, give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button right down below. Hopefully you'll consider joining the Cut and Corners family. But I love you. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.